Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm really excited to show you guys this Maverick Lariat. So this is a 2022 Ford Maverick with the Lariat Luxury Package. And this one is a front wheel drive 2.0 model. Looking at the front of the truck, we have LED reflector beam headlights. We have LED accent lighting running across the top right here. And then we have just a standard bulb for the turn signal. No fog lights or anything on any Mavericks. And then since this one has a Ford Copilot 360 package, it does have adaptive cruise control. And it even shows like a little logo there. So that's how you know it has adaptive cruise control. And I really like the bright work around like the headlights and everything. Looks really good. And you can definitely tell a Lariat apart from the other ones by the LED accent lighting when it's driving or at night. The Lariat has these really nice standard rims. You can see there, they are 225-60 R18. So they're 18 inches. You can see in the front there, we have carpeted wheel well liners. Look on the side there have our little lariat badge, a body colored mirror caps, no turn signal on the mirror or anything, and no puddle light. Let's look at the side here. This color is shadow black. So it's not like the agate black like on some Ford vehicles, this is the shadow black. So this is the non-metallic black color. Then obviously all Mavericks are crew cab. In the back here, you can see we have plastic wheel well liners. So these ones in the back will probably be a little bit easier to clean. From the exterior standpoint, the taillights look exactly the same as every other Maverick, but I'll have to double check at night. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely stay tuned for when I do a night video on a Lariat, when I get the chance, of course. It does have a tow package right here. And since this one is a front wheel drive model, I believe it can tow 2,000 pounds. So you can see we just have one connector, not the dual connector like uh, the 4K tow package has. And by the way, that's only available with all wheel drive. So we have our Ford badge back here with the backup camera. And then since we're already back here, let's go ahead and check out the bed. So you just open it up like this. It's not dampened or anything, but you can easily add that aftermarket. This one does have a very nice bed liner. I love the way it looks. Look over here, we have a little storage compartment. And then if you guys know at this point, there is a little secret compartment under there as well. So I like that. I'm going to go ahead and put that back. Very simple, easy. We have these nice tie down hooks right here. These are adjustable. You can move them forward and backwards. And then over here we have our 120 volt house power outlet right there. We have LED box lighting on this one. So you can just press that and turn it on. You can see it turns on that. And it also turns on the third brake light. Or I should say not the third brake light, but the, the cab lighting right there. And this is an additional 12 volt connector. You can add some stuff there. And if you guys are curious about the payload, it is 1,446 pounds on this specific model. You can see it's a really good looking truck. I like the way the Lariat looks, especially the wheels and the painted door handles looks really nice. All right guys, just pop the hood here. We still have a prop rod on the Lariat model. Um, this one has the 2.0 EcoBoost turbocharged four cylinder, 250 horsepower and 277 pound feet of torque. We got some 5.0 trucks starting up over there. And with the front wheel drive, this one is good for 23 city, 30 highway and 26 combined MPG. Just want to show you guys the window sticker for anyone who's curious. I know it's kind of dark and hard to see, but you can see there we have the 2.0 for $1,000. We have the Lariat Luxury Package for 3340 and the total of this one comes out to $31,950. All right guys, let's go ahead and hop inside here. So we have smart key access on the front two doors only. We have this nice keyless entry pad right here. We also have blind spot monitoring on the mirrors. So let's go ahead and hop inside here. So looking at the door panel, it is, uh, it is still hard touch up here for the Lariat model but it is soft right here where you'll be resting your elbow the most. Then over here we have a little bit of that brown trim because it has a brown interior. I'll show you guys that in a second. Then we have automatic up down for the driver and passenger and for the rear windows as well. So I'm really glad they made a uh, power up down or I should say automatic up down for all four windows. Looking at these seats, we have a eight way power driver seat. We have a really nice vinyl seat right here. They call it Active X. All right, guys, this is what the key looks like on the Lariat because it's the high-end model, so it has the nicer key and remote start. And then the push button is actually down here, so that's a really interesting spot for it. I usually expect it to be kind of like around this area or maybe like over here, but it's way down here. Push the button, starts right up. Oh, that's cool. Even in the graphics, it shows like a, a Lariat Maverick. That's pretty cool. So right off the bat, the steering wheel, it's wrapped in leather. feels really good to hold. We have our lane centering. We have our adaptive cruise control, regular cruise control. It has the lane assist, all the technology you'd ever want. I'll show you guys more on that a little bit later. Over here, this is the control of the screen in the middle. 
which this is the same screen as if you get a XLT with the FX4 package. So it's a really nice looking screen. You can see, check our driver's assistance. So you can see blind spot, cross traffic alert, adaptive cruise control. That will uh, alert you if it notices like you like drifting off the road and stuff. Uh, lane keep, pre-collision, and rear parking sensors. So you're covered as far as tech on this one, especially since this one has the Ford Copilot 360 package. But if you look down here, this is the actual real sync. Um, on the other Mavericks, it's like a like a basic version of sync. It's not like the real sync, but this one is real sync 3.4. It's pretty easy to use. Um, it usually is pretty responsive, so that's good. You have all your audio controls right here. Then if you look down here, heated seats, a heated steering wheel, and dual zone automatic climb control, and heated mirrors. So that is very nice. Then looking down here, we have a wireless charging pad. We've got our cup holders, no ambient lighting in the cup holders, but I think there might be some footwell lighting. So like I said, definitely stay tuned for that night video. Got our gear shifter here. We have our drive modes, track control, this is auto start, stop off, and auto hold. Let's go ahead and check out the drive modes on this one. We have normal, tow haul, slippery, eco, sport, and then back to normal. Okay, so that's pretty nice. Looking at the glove box over here, uh, it's a decent size, not terribly big, no light or anything. But the dash is actually pretty nice on this Lariat. This is kind of an interesting, hopefully you guys can see that. It's kind of an interesting trim, and it has the brown like accents. So I like the way they did that. And then on the doors, you still have the blue. So it's kind of like a whole bunch of like different colors going on in here. We have the blue right here. We have like the brown accent. Let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, it's not the softest in the world, but it's not hard, so it won't hurt your elbow to rest on it. Looking here, wow, quite a bit of room. I'm always surprised with how much room is in these uh, consoles of these Mavericks. That's pretty good. Looking up top, we have LED lighting. This one does not have a sunroof, which I'm completely fine with. Let's check this out, see if it has illuminated vanity mirrors. Oh yeah, it does. That's nice. So Lariats do have illuminated vanity mirrors. But uh, let's go ahead and check out the back seat and see if I can fit behind myself at 6'5". And just to give you guys some uh, perspective, this is how I fit in the front. Got a lot of room, I'm not touching this or anything. Feels really comfortable to drive. So let's see how the back seat is. One thing I forgot to mention is I didn't look like really far under here. We also have a 12 volt right here. We have two USBs. And then this is to control your rear window. It's power on the Lariat, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and test that out. Yeah, that's really cool. Even on a little truck like this, if you get the high-end one, you get a power uh, rear window. All right, guys, checking out the back seat of the Maverick. Uh, hard touch up here, just like in the front, but it is soft right here. Really nice seats in the back as well. This will definitely be really easy to clean. It'll be durable. Then you open this up. Got two cup holders over there on this Lariat. That's nice. We also have two USBs. We have that accessory uh, hook house power outlet and we have map pockets on the back of both seats. But it looks a little bit tight, but I'm gonna see if I can get in here. Okay, so obviously with someone like me driving in the front, there's not like a whole bunch of room back here. Let's see if I can close the door. Okay, if the person up front is a little bit shorter than 6'5", and you're shorter than 6'5 in the back, you'll have no problem fitting back here. Um, it's just a little bit tighter for like really tall people, but you know that going in when you buy a smaller truck like this. And if you guys are curious what it looks like behind the seats of the Maverick, you can uh, lift down the seats in the back. There's all kinds of uh, interesting wires and stuff back here. So that's what it looks like behind the seat of a Maverick. All right, guys, so before putting this truck back, I listened to the radio a little bit. And this Bang & Olufsen is a huge, when I tell you, huge upgrade over the bass stereo. It actually has bass and it actually sounds really good. The bass stereo is not the greatest, but this one is actually really good the Bang & Olufsen. So, highly recommend springing for this stereo if you can afford it. All right guys, so well, I'm not gonna drive this one today, but if you guys wanna see me drive a front wheel drive 2.0 Maverick, I do have a video on that. And uh, stay tuned for if I get to do any future videos with Mavericks. If you enjoy these videos, please give it a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.